Perhaps the most important part of this video build is that when I screw up, I'm going to let you know where I screwed up. Whenever I can, I will take out the error and, uh, uh, and redo the piece. In some cases, as in this case, since I'm closing up the interior of the boat and uh, the mistake is so phenomenal, um, I'm not going to do that. Um, but for the purpose of those of you who might use this video as a learning tool, I just wanted to correct my error. The problem raised its head when I was installing the lower deck clamp 15 and that whole band of clamps from 12 to 15. And the second band of clamps, which we refer to as the thick stuff. And there was no space between the two sets of planks. And I knew I had made an error, I just didn't know where the error was. And it came all the way down to the installation of um, strakes 1 and 2. If we go to the stern, strake number 2 should have ended at aft can frame number 9. So that started a series of problems that resulted in, in these frames going too much up this way. David had very kindly marked up a photograph that I had sent which highlighted how these strakes should have been laid out when completed. At the bow, the mistake was not so great. Um, we should have ended streak number two at forward can frame number five. Instead of all the way up here, which is at forward can frame two. So again, that also tightened up the spacing between here. Although it didn't cause a problem at the bow of the boat, it was at the stern of the boat that I had most of the issues. On the mylar plan, this is where the, the line ends. And if you extend that line just straight back to the stern, this is where David thinks or suggests that the line should end. Uh, most of the models that I saw on the National Research Guild site had it here, and there were a few of them that actually had it this high. Um, when it came to the bow, there was no such complication because the top of the lower deck beam um, shows the connection very clearly right here. To resolve this problem, I could have simply stripped everything out of the boat and started from scratch. Um, I'm not going to do that. I know I'm, I can do it, um, but I'm not going to do it simply because I'm sealing the boat up. And the most important thing is the lesson learned by me. Um, so I hope I get the forgiveness of Lord David and Greg um, in this error that I've made. Um, but I promise to seal it up and no one is going to know about this error except you and I. Now that I've got over the reality of um, making such a fundamental error, I decided that what I would do was make up a chart taken off the mylar plan. The chart is relatively straightforward. This area here shows the finished height of the beam taken at various frames and it shows the actual height in feet and inches then converted to total inches and then converting the scale. And on the other side, which is more important, we deduct the 5 inches, um, remembering that the 6 inch beam is recessed 1 inch into streak 15. And so at the stern, instead of 12 foot 1 inch, you see that the finished height of the beam is 11 feet 8 inches. And that breaks down into 140 inches. And finally, the scale measurement of 2.92. Following David's advice, I've re-established the line. At the stern, we are 11 foot 8 inches. At can frame number 8, we are 11 foot 4 inches. At the aft frame of the third gun port, 10 foot 11. At the fourth gun port, 10 foot 7. And... At the 6th gun port, 10 foot 3, and we're back to all the correct heights. Um, so we're going to trim that down, 
um, and probably chisel it down and um, really get the line because that's the most important line that's the line on which the um, on which the beams sit The stern has now been repaired and this is the exact line that is on the Mylar plan. I have gone back to the earlier videos on Vimeo and put a little note um, which defines the error and hopefully um, Anybody who has viewed the video will have referenced the note and come to this correction video. So I'm off on a short holiday for three weeks and I'll be back and start putting the internal clamps and the mouse steps in place.